Hi. Yeah. I'm opting out. Thank you. Okay, let me explain what's going on in that video. That was me standing in line to go through TSA security in a US airport. When I get called up to the podium, I always stand to the side of it, not in front of it, because if you stand in front of it, you're in front of the facial recognition machine and you might automatically get caught. The agent asks just ID because there are other options like digital ID, but I don't want that because that's also facial recognition. The agent takes my license, puts it in a machine, which scans it and puts all of the information, including the scanned image of my face on my license on the monitor in front of them. The agent then just needs to compare my actual face to the scanned image of my driver's license. And that's the part I'm pulling my mask down for so that they can see my physical face and compare it to the scanned image of my driver's license. And when it takes them a while, I put my mask back on a lot of the times because I don't want to be without my mask for too long. And that's why the agent says, wait for the picture to come up because the picture of my scanned driver's license had not come up yet. The reason why I'm exhaling while my mask is down is because I'm not protected anymore. So not scientific, but just for me, just trying to exhale. Opting out isn't always easy, and if you are of any identity that white, cis, het, colonial culture does not want to exist, you are at higher risk. I always have that risk in mind, and I always consider my surroundings. I have opted out every single time, and depending on the situation, I've had agents bark at me, taunt, lie, shame, harass, delay, interrogate, and stall. But sometimes, and I'm noticing a lot more often than when I was first opting out as soon as these machines came out, you can often get through with less pushback than before. And that is only because they are being made aware that people are indeed opting out. Let me be very clear, I should not be the one who has to tell them that I want to opt out. They should be asking us for our consent on whether or not we want to opt in. A lot of you have been sharing with me that you've been finding the courage to opt out after viewing my videos where I'm constantly saying opt out, opt out, opt out. And a lot of you have also been sharing with me how you wanted to opt out, but you couldn't because they were too quick or misleading. Still, you are aware and you are awakened and each time is an opportunity to opt out. Even if you didn't in the past, each time is. Proud of you all, keep opting out. Your digital identity should be yours. I found every airport is different and even the same airport is different on different days and depending on which station you're at. There's different circumstances and conditions depending on citizenship status. All of that is available on my resource. Always weigh the risks and if and when you can, opt out, opt out, opt out.